You're watching Telecom TV. We are joining from the Global Mobile Broadband Forum here in Dubai. And now I'm happy to be joined by Anil Anthony, the Global Head for Telecom and Technology at News and IQ. So, Anil, what did you think of the keynotes today and which topic did you find the most impressive one? Yeah, I think the keynote today was really, there was a commonality across all the keynotes that we heard. And the good thing was that from Ken to uh, to all other speakers who were there, they talked about a technology 5G, which is in its work in progress still. So it has still to realize its full potential. And we got a few years, maybe around five years to actually do that before 6G becomes a reality. So I think uh, there are many use cases which are now coming up. I mean, which was not envisaged earlier. So maybe initially we were thinking more about, you know, B2C consumers, but now a lot of things are all about B2B. A lot of private networks, network slicing, you know, uh, let's say wireless access, you know, which is uh, competition to fiber, etc. So I think there is a lot of things which are happening right now. And I think we will hear a lot more about this as we go on in the future. News and IQ is a leading market research company. And in your opinion, with the rapid deployments of 5G, which part has brought the most significant success? Yeah, I think currently, I mean, like I told, it's in a nascent stage right now. It's developing fast. But I think the one area that has really achieved success is in the B2B field. And that too, I think manufacturing, uh, logistics, and lately healthcare, where, you know, I think uh, where you need a lot of data is coming in. Uh, so you need ability of a network to handle that volume of data with lower latency and also high scalability. So I think these are the ones that I think manufacturing, logistics, healthcare, etc. have need these kind of uh, uh, metrics to be really, really good. And these are the industries which have actually taken up uh, 5G rapidly right now. Mm -hmm. And what is the unique value for 5G fixed wireless access uh, that brings to the market? I think the fiber wireless access, what it brings to the market is that I think uh, two things. One is that I think uh, wherever there is less access for uh, laying the wire, you know, if I call it, you know, the fiber, I think this is a much less costly um, and also faster, um, let's say, uh, alternative. To that that's that's on the b2b side and i think on the you know the other thing is that i think be it you know where you can easily get access across different devices you know in different rooms i think this is something that you know fwa will will really bring about because uh, it gives you a lot more uh, flexibility in what is happening and i think that is the key thing that fwa brings to the picture and looking ahead, what changes do you believe that 5.5G will bring to end users? Yeah, so 5.5G, the beauty of 5.5G is, is will be 5G on, maybe not steroids, but close to that. Yeah, so that is a beauty about 5.5G. So this is everything that we have right now will be a lot more faster, will be able to scale a lot more better. And I think use cases will be a lot also a lot more. So I think 5.5G will accelerate uh, the things that we see right now to a much bigger level. I think that is what 5.5G will be. Anil, thank you for speaking with us. Thank you very much, Anna. Thank you.